two moles of ethyl bromide can be formed from diethyl ether by way of an oxonium ion. The bromide ion is then the nucleophile in an SN2 reaction. The oxonium ion reacts with the bromide ion in an SN2 reaction to form ethyl alcohol and the first mole of ethyl bromide. Another mole of hydrogen bromide reacts with ethyl alcohol to produce the second mole of ethyl bromide. Halogens are electronegative, which means that electron density is withdrawn from the hydrogens in the methyl group. Hence, multiple halogenation occurs. The symbol phi represents an aromatic ring. The electron withdrawing effect of the carbonyl carbon causes the methyl hydrogens to be more acidic. Hence, these hydrogens can be removed in an acid-base reaction. An enolate ion so produced in the acid-base reaction can react with a halogen molecule, thereby halogenating the methyl group. The electron withdrawing effect is enhanced by the first halogenation so that the remaining two methyl hydrogens are even more acidic. A second acid base reaction occurs, producing once again a carbanion. The enolate or carbanion again reacts with a halogen molecule. The final methyl hydrogen is even more acidic now that there are two halogens and the carbonyl group all withdrawing electron density. Clearly the reaction proceeds as before so that complete halogenation of the methyl group occurs. In the presence of base, such as sodium hydroxide, the hydroxyl group attacks the carbonyl carbon. Carbanions are not common leaving groups, but in this case the halogens stabilize it. Hence, the carbonyl oxygen reforms its double bond and the trihalomethyl carbanion leaves. The trihalomethyl carbanion, so formed, takes a proton from the hydroxyl group, giving a halo form and a carboxylate ion. If the solution is then acidified, the carboxylate ion is protonated to yield a carboxylic acid.